Well, dog tough grass is a grass that we found many years ago. When I got the grass, I was exploring it the, in the rock garden of the Botanic Gardens. I saw this tufty little grass. I thought, wow, that's really neat. So I started propagating it. 12 years ago, I got serious about testing it as a turf grass. And at that time, our, our entire yard was Kentucky bluegrass and tall fescue. So we started taking that out and replacing it with this African dogtooth grass. Before long, I realized with five dogs at the time, there's no dog spots. And by the third or fourth year, I realized the areas where the sprinklers didn't hit looked just as good as the area that I was still watering. And before long, we realized we barely had to water the grass at all. We just watered it once or twice or three times a month. Uh, last year we watered five times the whole summer. It'll grow in really poor soil. It'll grow in rich soil. We can plant it in existing grass and not have to remove the existing grass. It's very, very soft. It's very velvety. It's very cushiony. When you walk on it, it feels like you're walking on foam rubber. Um, it's an amazing texture. And the dogs love it too, so it's very appealing to them to play on, to roll in. Um, homeowners love it because it's low water and it's resistant to dog urine. People in Colorado have a love affair with turf grass. But if they can have a beautiful green grass and utilize a fraction of the water, I think it's going to make a big difference. You know, we estimate about 10 to 30 percent of the watering of traditional uh, Kentucky bluegrass or tall fescue grass. Their water bill is going to go way down. One thing that makes dog tough grass different from traditional Kentucky bluegrass is that it greens up later. It will green up about the last week of May, early June, and go dormant and turn a straw color in early October. Um, even in the winter when it's dormant, it's a beautiful golden yellow color, but it's still springy and tough, and it really um, uh, wears foot traffic very, very well. It's a month ahead of time, we will kill the existing grass or weeds in the area, and then we will, um, make small holes about a foot apart in the grass and install the plugs and then uh, water and fertilize liberally the first summer. From May to September the grass will completely fill in. It'll be a, a, a modest establishment. By the end of the second season it's extremely uh, well established. If you don't want to mow the dog tough grass it only gets about three to four inches high and it makes a very nice um, uh, kind of a natural looking turf, which is sort of mounding and gentle and undulating. Uh, but if you want that really trim, even look like a conventional lawn, then you're gonna to wanna to mow it about once a week in July and August. If you want to investigate um, growing dog tough grass, um, go to uh, plantselect.org. You'll easily uh, be able to find a retailer who sells the product. <music>